Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. This is the second part to this video in November 2019 for a 400 amp service upgrade from a 200. Um, this is gonna be the basement down here, just so you see it. You just epoxy the floor, really nice. Uh, some of you might ask, why do you have the panels here and not over by the mechanical? Um, good question, but he didn't wanna spend the extra money to pipe it. Uh, when we get into copper 200 amp, maybe a two inch and some two aught. Um, and then the 100 amp would be TC cable number two, which is gonna be this one, and this is gonna be my 200. Um, anyways, we got this cut out. I sometimes like to use white tape, but I'll use that aluminum tape just to get it to be tight with the insulation. Uh, these five go upstairs from my car flex with a piece of inch and five eight strut with some strut straps. And you have to count how many current carrying conductors in this conduit. Yes, it's kind of like a nipple, but it is longer now than 24 inches. It's probably closer to 30 inches. Um, so you do have to count how many current carrying conductors in the conduit. Uh, so right here, a two inch FMC, and I'll show you here. And then that went outside. here got this cap on it because it's gonna snow tonight it's my other two inch nine inches apart uh, the grounds gonna go in the new cabinet that ground down there here will be in the new cabinet and then this is my water my new size for my water ground uh, we believe that one will fit perfect here's my new gear Knocked out a two and a half inch right there. That's gonna be all those guys right here coming in. And then that two inch and two inches, nine inches apart. And then that's my solar. And then I have a little hole there for my ground, my ground. And over here, my other ground looks like it got covered. Might have to drill that a little more. Or I'll just come into there. Um, yeah, so one of the 200 amp you saw downstairs on the left will feed going here. The other 100 amp will feed going up. And, uh, boy, I hope that lines up. It looks like that conduit will fit because my cutoff is right here for three inches. So this will fit right in that bay. I think we'll be knocking out a three inch, they told me, right here. So that should fit perfect. And um, we'll be able to cover up that hole because the line looks like it's going to come straight up to there and across. Actually, sorry. It goes right up to there. That's the size of the big, larger one. There'll be a little bit of stuff that's not painted. So that should all fit really, really nice. We had to move over.